Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Nexus for Nexus Gaming and you are joining me again in the Solus Project Episode 2. Now last time we collected all of this stuff. All of this food, all this water, two med kits. Um, I guess these are like energy food. We need like 2,000 uh, as opposed to like a couple hundred. Uh, we've got some food plant-wise in our inventory, um, and now we need to, I guess, explore and investigate the rest of this place. Let's see how many... We've got 11 of 12 secrets. We read that already. Read that already. We still have not found the survival handbook, uh, page 7, and we still need two more for Lada's diary. Uh, I guess we're going to run around and see if we can find the rest of that stuff, and possibly find um, the last secret. And we won't spend too much time doing that because I would like to get on with the, with the story and the game. Uh, this game had an update this morning. Um, actually, actually, just, just before, before I logged on to record this episode, and for some reason the game would not, um, it wasn't cooperating. It didn't want to load, it was not um, responding for some reason, so it took me about 10 minutes to figure that out. Anyway, it looks like there's a storm coming in. Um, I don't really remember what to expect with the storm. I know that there's rain and snow and all that kind of stuff, but, uh, I, I, uh, rain. Talk about rain, and then it rains. So can we talk about sunshine, and maybe it'll stop raining? No, no, didn't think so. Um, what was that noise? Uh oh. Something's bad out there. Well, let's just wait. still be hit right here. Is there anywhere else we can go? Yeah. This thing. Oh, there's a room back there. Hey, hey, hey! What's this? Didn't notice this. Well, at least we're underground, so whatever the flip is going on outside shouldn't be able to affect it. I'm going to keep running in here. I get kind of scared. I'm already getting goosebumps. Yeah, that sounds windy. Whatever that is, it's windy. And it's like right above us. It's pretty scary. What are these? Let's hide. Can we hide in here? Oh my goodness, it's hiding here. Holy crap, it's an earthquake. We're gonna hide in this shell real quick. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is, what's going on. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is, it sounds like it's moving on. There's some giant shells. The giant snail shells? Are there giant snails down here? Holy crap. I like how there's no map in this game. Like, there's no map. There's no way to pull up any kind of map. You just gotta kinda have to, you know, look around to find anything. This is creepy. Oh, what's this? Let's have our party now here. The departed. One. Wait, wait, there's one of one? Okay, I guess we'll read it since there's one. Well, let's see if it pops up in the journal. 
Yes, it does. So, I guess since there's only one, we could just read it. The Departed. He who once established the order was laid to rest. Okay, hopefully not down here. What's that? Ooh, it looks like another artifact. It's a lost artifact. Declaration of the Departed upgrades all resistances. Nice, by plus one. Okay, so now where do we go? Looks like we can continue the spider webs in here. By the way, I hate spiders. There's a lock, another locked door. What's this? Yeah, let's eat the unknown substance, Nexus. That's... Yeah, that's awesome. It looks like it's food, though. Hey! That looks like that cave we found in the very beginning. But we, these bars are still closed. Maybe they're supposed to be closed. Alright, well, I don't see anything else. Let's go back out. It sounds like there's a storm still raging outside. I need any water. A couple drinks. I need to go back and grab a water bottle. I don't know why I've always walked off without a water bottle. It's probably not the smartest thing. I think I came this way. Oh no, that's the, that's the broken place. I had to have come in this way then. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about. That thunderstorm raging outside, good lord. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can. Looks like it's. What the heck? Did I just like, get lost in this place? I totally just got lost in this place. Is this the way out? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Can't really do much if there's. Horrific weather conditions outside. I don't want to be soaking wet. Uh, looks like we're about 2.7 hours on sleep, so we're gonna have to. Might as well sleep. We're not gonna go anywhere. It's 37 degrees in here. I think we should make a fire. Might be a little warm. Probably 73 is probably good. We can sleep for that. Let's sleep for six hours. We don't need too much sleep. I mean, you know, after all, humanity is depending on us. It would be very selfish of us to take out, you know, 10 or 12 hours at a time for ourselves when, you know, the rest of the colony is uh, somewhere out by Pluto running out of energy. That just doesn't seem right. Looks like this, the rain has stopped. Hopefully we're in luck with that. Uh, go ahead and drop... Wow. Drop this food can. I'm going to pick up two... Three water bottles. I've got some food. Um, I don't think I'll need anything else. Hopefully I won't need anything else. Now it's sunny, it's cloudy, but at least it's not raining. Okay, so we pretty much checked everything. Um, I'm not real sure where else we could look. Let's just go look around for a little for a while. Wow, it is hot out here. It is 104 degrees. Holy crap.
There's a man eating fly traps. Which those should be called the Venus uh, man eating traps. Those things are huge. Wow, it's 113 degrees. We're not going to be able to search out here for long. There's no way. There's got to be some kind of uh, heat element that's going to kill us because I can't imagine being able, I can't imagine ha walking around. It's the the temperature's still going up. I can't imagine walking around in this heat and not having some kind of penalty for it. We have a penalty for everything else. We need to get back inside the cave. It's way too hot out here. We need to sleep longer. We're no good to anybody if we're dead. I'm not going to sleep for six hours. We'll sleep for four. Wow, that was, that was crazy. Hopefully the sun is going down. It's not cooking us either. Which one's the moon? Is that the moon or is that the moon? That kind of looks like that kind of looks too big to be a moon, unless it's a. Uh... I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought when I saw a flashing light over there. There it is again. See it? What is that? I didn't see that before. There's definitely something flashing. I wonder if there's somebody trying to signal to me. I don't have any way to signal back. I don't. If I had a flashlight or something, I could, you know, I could kind of do Morse code with it. But yeah, don't have one of those. But uh, that yeah, that kind of looks too big to be the moon. I think that's the moon, or that's the planet, and it's just further out there in the moon right there and that's why it's close I don't I don't know I don't know maybe maybe not I'm wondering if we should still keep looking around for these two um, letter pieces or if we should just move on the sun's gonna be going down in like probably like five minutes or so I think we already checked up there. Well, whatever we're gonna do, we need to do it fast. I'd like to go back down here and look along the beach now that the water level is down. See if we were, I mean, we may, see if we missed anything. check over here. I think we already got that one. No harm in checking a second time. Yeah, see now this is all dried out right now down here. I want to go check over here by the by this wreckage and see if there were any notes or anything on the ground that we couldn't get because of the water earlier. It's not quite empty, but it's emptier. Pages we're missing. 
Maybe I don't know if it'll show us an order or not. Oh, we just found another one. So, which one are we missing? We're missing 22. If they go in order, we're missing 22. But this is 20. Got that. Oh, uh, I want to make sure we're not leaving it in the water. to be rising too again. We need to get out of here before this whole place is flooded out. Pull our torch out because we're kind of cold. Just want to make sure that we're not missing anything. I don't want to have to wait for the water to recede again. I'm guessing it only recedes this low at night. I've been waiting for it to drain so that I could check this area. In the last episode, that's what I kept running back and forth through here for, is because I was waiting to see if this stuff had drained, so that we could check the ground, because, you know, not that you can really see underwater anyway. There was a note over here. That's 23, so 22's gotta be... You would think that this one would have been 22. It's 21. So yeah, 22 is, uh, <laughs> I don't know where it's at. It's missing, though. I don't know where it would be. I'm just going to keep trying to check around the cliff and everything. Uh, I don't know. I would have thought that it would have been right here in the area. Reminder, your survival is of paramount importance to the continued existence of mankind. Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know where it's at. It's probably right under my nose and I'm just not seeing it. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. Um, I think that we should uh, move on, though. I don't even know where that last artifact would be. We can always come back. Um, I do distinctly remember in the uh, incomplete in the other series that we played through, um, that uh, you can come back to these areas because I distinctly remember having to go back to a certain area once we had um, more air in our water tank or in our um, in our tank or underwater time. Not real sure what to call that. Um, our, our scuba time. I guess we can call it our scuba time. Yeah, our scuba time. Once we had more air for our scuba time, we had to come back in one of these areas and go under and go into water to get one of the artifacts. So I know we can come back. So we may maybe it's something of just having to come back. So we pretty much checked everything. See anything else? 
I've checked all the areas I would think that, you know, that piece of paper would be. I say let's uh, go back. Let's just drink some water now because we can always ref oh, no, that's not water. We can always drink the or refill it when we get there. Eat some food when we get there, and then we'll load up on supplies, and then we will head out. I think that's what we're gonna do. still 82 degrees out, but if I put the torch away, it'll be like 50. 40. Dang. Well, we'll be warm for a second. 130 degrees warm. You can see the red outline on our on the screen. All right, so here we are back here again. Yep, starvation imminent. Water gonna be a problem here in a minute. Um, let's refill this. Let's take one of these, let's just eat this. Let's just eat this one too. Go on both. Um, we've only got room for three items. I don't think we should take anything. I think we're good. We got three bottles of water. Well, let's take four bottles of water just in case. I know we have 15 of 18 of inventory, but as soon as we have to eat something, we're going to... Um, we'll have one more space available. I say that, yeah, we just mush on. We'll come back later if we need to. I don't want to spend too much time in one area looking over the same stuff, uh, you know, kind of with a magnifying glass, so to say. Uh, because if I'm, if I'm bored with it, then you've got to be bored with it. And if you're not, then let me know in the comments, and I will definitely come back here and try to find that last page and that last artifact. Uh, but in the meantime, I, th I think it's safe to move on. I know the weather's getting worse, and it seems day by day the weather gets worse out here. This is the 8th. I already found that. Um. Okay, well, I've not found a way in here yet, and I'm assuming that we still have to use this. I don't think they've changed it. Okay, maybe they've changed it. Uh, no? If, did it fall inside? It did. Awesome. And we'll pick up the glow stick. Uh, let's switch back to the torch. Carry enough supplies, a source of heat, and light to explore deep caves. That's very valuable information. Thank you very much. But we're going to go ahead and zero tower parts and zero secrets left to be found nearby. How didn't I have... Oh, we found it. Where did we find it? I don't remember finding it. Maybe you remember finding it. I... I don't know. But, uh, awesome. It's cool. So we don't need to come back here. I mean, well, we do. If we want that other journal entry and that other survival handbook thing but I think that's that's it and look at all those places that we have to explore I think the last time um, I want to say the last time that we played this we were in uh, 
I want to say f maybe the second cave right there, because the rest of those weren't, um, a couple of those weren't open on that, on these. The places on the left, a couple of those weren't there the last time we played this, so they weren't available at the time. So this looks like uh, it's all available at this point, so we're going to have an awesome time. Looking forward to it. I hope you are too. All right, back to the back to where we're going to leave the area and see what awaits us on the other side. <coughs> Pardon me, I apologize. Got a bit of a cold. See look, that that tower out there. Um, do we have to go to that? Yeah, I think that's the planet right there, because the moon... Oh no, maybe not. I don't know, maybe they're both moons. I can't remember the last time I saw a planet orbit another planet. So maybe one, maybe they're both moons? No, uh, one of them's definitely a planet. Because it just went down below the horizon out there, and just seen it just barely in the dark. All right, well, this looks inviting. One second here. Okay. Mm, yeah, the creepy, the creepy, creepy music and just gave me chills again. This is gonna be an interesting time. You guys are gonna get all kinds of laughs and giggles out of this as I, you know, fight to keep the fluids and everything in my body. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like the creepy music. I'm, I've got, I've got goosebumps and chills all the way down my body into my feet, and I can feel it. Not cool. What's, whoa, what's down here? What's that? Uh, can't use it. A ring requires a rope. Um, well. Wait, what's that over there? Does that go down over there? Let's go check that. I don't wanna. I don't have a rope, and I don't know where I'm gonna where I'm gonna get a rope. Ooh, what was that? Oh my gosh, I almost fell off. That's probably not good. Let's do, do we sure we want to try this. Do we have to crouch? No, I don't want to crouch. Can we keep going down this? Oh, sweet. We didn't even have to rope down here. What's this? Relic of Nourishment. Resistance to Starvation plus one. Current Resistance, 3%. <laughs> nice. So 4% Resistance to Starvation. Awesome. Can we get out this way? Hopefully. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're stuck? Okay, no we're not. We're just stuck on the terrain. Okay, I'm just gonna be careful going up here. I don't want to fall in there. That's like, that's almost certainly certain death if we fall. Ah, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Is there anything else back here? Rocks. What's, is there something back there? Wait, can we go back there? What the? What the what? Can we get in there? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, what's that noise? Secret caves are meant for experienced explorers. Well, I've played many exploration games. I, I feel that I'm I'm an experienced explorer. I mean, they may disagree, but... I think we're going to go ahead and uh, check this place out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this place. This is that one place that I was saying that we had to come back to because we needed more scuba, we needed more air, we need more air time underwater. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're probably not going to find anything in here then. Um, what was strapped up there? Whatever it was, I had four arms. That's not... That's not good. <laughs> we have no weapons. What's this? Dry faster. Okay, so yeah, this is that place because we're gonna need that uh, buff to dry quicker. There's these old... What's that thing? What is that? It just made noises. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Deep breath, Nexus, deep breath. Oh, what is it? It just looks like a little porcupine type thing. What's it what's it gonna do? Oh my god, it's making weird noises. What's it gonna do? Ah! Oh, it's coming after me! Ah! No 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can we just run? Oh my god! Oh! Shit! Shit! I mean crap! Pardon my French. Oh, the music's not helping. I'm definitely not going in there. I don't know what's in there. What's waiting for us in there? Nope, 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 nope. More of those things. What's that? I know I saw something. Oh, my heart's going thump, 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 thump. Okay, I think that was probably all, except we'll have to come back here to go underwater. Um, for now, let's just leave and get out of here. I don't want to be in here anymore. Help! Help me! Help me! No, help me. Help. Hulp. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. So now where are we? Okay. I think we came from that way. Uh, what was that? Okay, that's just the ceiling. My god, I thought something was on my head. Well, let's just keep going. What was that? Are those... Are those eggs? <sighs> oh my god, some of them aren't even hatched. Oh my god, the noise. The music. Stop with the music. Uh, some of these are hatched. Some of these aren't hatched. I'm not sure what to think. Uh, what's this place? Did I did I just go the wrong way? Where am I going? What's up? What's going on? Where are we? Wow, what's that? Just a pit. Wait, there's something down there. Can we teleport? Down? I knew I saw something. There's just I saw the little orange circle, the yellow circle. I didn't know there was an artifact down here. Relic of life, max health 25. I'll take that. That works for me. But. What else, what else is down here? Now how do we get out of here? Wonderful. Can I shoot the disc up there? Maybe? Ah. Jump up here. Shoot the disc up there? Oh, I did. Oh, awesome. That was easy. Let's not jinx it. Next time we run into it will probably be hard. No, why would you drop the torch? I was gonna say, tell me that it's not gonna let me pick up my torch. <laughs> we'll have a serious problem at that point. Now where are we? I think we just went in a big circle. We were just in here. 
We just came through here. Oh, the eggs again, my god. No, I don't hear noises. What's this? Some kind of crystal. Light crystal emits light. Temperature plus 50. Humidity minus 10. Hey! That'll actually, that might come in handy. Um, did we take a wrong turn somewhere? I don't remember coming through here. That's right, because we went this way. Was that all that was up here? Was that one thing? I just want to be thorough. I mean, we are, I mean, we do already have to come back here, so I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. But in a sense, it does matter. Because I don't want to have to come back here looking for multiple things. I mean, what are the chances that we have acquired even half of the whatever's back here? <laughs> let's let's look. Explorer diary. Oh, yeah, we've... There's three secrets back here we've collected. Or, there's ten secrets back here we've collected three. So, my guess is, I know we know there's one underwater back there, so that's four, but where's the rest of it? Alright, well we saved there, I'm not sure if we should continue onward or if we should call it an episode here. Press ahead and find the source of the signal. Cross the pool of tidal water and continue your investigation. Some cave water rises and lowers with the tide. Oh, that's nice to know. There's, um, four artifacts, one relic of aqua, night, athleticism, nourishment, and light. life. I think we just got the one, um, I don't even remember what we just picked up back there. It was just an artifact. I don't know what that was, but it was weird. That was a creepy signal. Anyway, uh, we got the nourish, the one of nourishment, and we put out one of the artifacts. So, I mean, there's still quite a bit that we need to gather. I'm assuming we gotta go this way. Looks like the water's going down still. Can we, like, just avoid the water? Hold it. Yeah, dehydration imminent, my butt. You drink a lot of water, dude. Can we just keep going? Well, I mean, what's the... What's the... What's the thing here? Start and grow a campfire to warm and dry yourself. Uh, no, they're not. What's this? Oh, yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Right, what's back here? Is there anything back here? I know I saw something over here. Uh, maybe we should pick these up. Of course it is. Right. Right. So, I know I saw something over here. I don't know where this is. This is probably another one of those secret caves that I saw talking about. That sure sounds like it. Death is awaiting us in this place. Oh, I'm not sure I want to know. Okay, well, if there's anything awaiting us in this place. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, is that movement? Yes, movement speed 1%. Okay, there's something over there. Not sure entirely how to get there, though. 
that. Here comes that creepy music again. I, I'm getting goosebumps all over me body, and I don't like it at all. Well, I mean, I do because I like to. I do kind of like to be scared, but at the same time, I don't like to be scared because I will freeze up and everything, and it'll be it'll be funny for you guys, but it'll be horrible for me. Which, hey, if that's your entertainment, then let me provide some more of it. If my pain and fear is your entertainment, then we might get along great. Actually, I'm hoping so. Well, let's just keep... I know we're moving through here pretty quickly, as in to no care and attention as a what the heck could be waiting for us, but I am so scared in this place. I hate caves. I don't like dark areas. As well as sleeping, save your shrines can be used to save your progress. That's nice to know. That must be what this thing over here is. Okay, well, let's check back here first. There's a cage. With the swim list. That must, was that where the boot was? Oh, it was. Nice. What's this? Ah, Indiana Jones style. Let's go. Let's do it. Well, that's a dead end. I'm just gonna keep jumping around because it'll keep me from freaking out, I guess. The more I jump, the less the less uh, scared I feel, I guess. Let's sit, sit there, let's jump through here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh shoot, let's go this way. I like these candles. Was there anything else back there? Or is that just a dead end? Nope, that dead end. Let's keep jumping around. I'm gonna jump into a monster or something, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Absolutely sure. What's this? Is this just a dead end? Oh, hey, Relic of Night! At least there was an artifact back there. I just kind of ran around into that corner and was like, open dead end. That's a caged. That that I don't, I don't, there's no mechanism over there. Or at least it didn't look like it. Oh, I don't want to crouch in this place. Crouching in this place is horrible. What's, what's that? Oh, nice. I just kind of wandered back here. Is there anything else back here? This is why I check like every corner and every crevice, is because you just never know. You know what's waiting for you back there, whether it's you know bad or good. I think I went through this way already. Because oh, I went through here, took this route. So I'll just come full circle then. God, that music. Something's gonna be. Something's creeping up on me. I can feel it. Okay, well, this is all locked, so let me light this candle, because maybe the light keeps it away from us, whatever it is. What's that? A socket mechanism requires an idol. That's. Oh my god, the goosebumps are getting real. The struggle. What's that? Looks like a, a doll. It's an idol. Okay. Oh, is this what this needs? And that is not creepy at all. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm in constant goop. Oh, God. I'm in constant goosebump stage, which means that they're just constantly there for the moment because I'm that scared in this cave. Oh my god. Ah! 
Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Oh my goodness gracious, there's like ten of them. Are they all chasing me? Oh my god. Oh my god, just breathe. Breathe, Nexus. Breathe, breathe, breathe. What's that? Inventory of course it is. Um, well, let's eat something. Then can we pick it up? Yes, we can. What was it? Oh, it's, uh, emits light. 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Plus 10% humidity, which means it's cold crystal. So happy. Oh my god. Ah, oh, get away from me. Ah! Holy crap. Make sure we're not missing anything. I don't want to leave anything behind. Okay, that was just a big circle. But was there anything in there? Because what, why else would there be that? I'm just gonna kind of try to avoid those guys, and just try to kind of think that they're not there. <laughs> is what's gonna help me get through this. Really, it's just a big circular. Okay, whatever. I mean, sure. If that's what floats you. Oh man. Oh my goodness! Back past the critters. Cross the pool of tidal water and continue your investigation. Yeah, we crossed the tidal. Oh my goodness! Oh. oh my God! I do not remember this place. Passage of the Travelers. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I think that we are going to call it an episode right there, and we will continue next time in episode three. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment if you wish to do so, and uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Until next time, bye-bye.